sloping face is completely smooth. There's no chance of any foothold. My only hope is that the vines will hold. Kind of committed now to this fight. Wow. <sighs> See, look, I can wedge my left leg between the vine and the wall. That's giving me my friction, so I'm not taking all on my hands. <sighs> the Alec is running. It's running all the way down to that little ledge. Well, push. What am I going to do when I get there? I just need to get the, down to that point. <sighs> if I'm trying to keep my hands just at shoulder height, or below, it means the blood doesn't drain out of them and I'll have a bit better muscle endurance. If I start letting my hands go up here, it gets much more tiring. Don't look down, don't think back, just keep in the moment. Man. They're burning. Oh, about two thirds of the way down on this little ledge. You see how crumbly this all is. But that's the end of this vine. I need to try and find another one to get the last bit down. If I'm just reach across the, this one, I should be able to go for it. Okay. One. Just get me. Oh. Okay, I don't want to hang around on this one. This is not as thick. Oh man. Oh, I'm seriously running out of running out of strength then. Have a look at that. <laughs> okay, I gotta cross, cross this river. And those guys in the paddy field, they've seen me now. They think I'm completely bonkers Englishman. Okay, let's get over. The black swamps and jungles of Sumatra have stretched me to the limits of my physical and mental endurance. But it's a challenge I'll never forget. Reaching these paddy fields means one thing for me. I can finally head home to my family. It's early summer in the Yukon. Temperatures vary dramatically. And of course, there are bears just coming out of hibernation. This is going to be no picnic. The flag is high as a helicopter can go now. The air is so thin. When the pilot gives me the nod, I'm out of here. I'm parachuting in from 10,000 foot with minimum equipment. And my camera crew is coming with me. Fissures <sighs> can be dangerous, but there is a way to do it. Sometimes you get these these lava bridges that cross them over. Uh, sort of in the same way you get snow bridges over crevasses. But you've got to be really, really careful crossing these just because you don't know what's solid and what's hollow underneath. 